Hello. So, um, this is my critique for uh, my first presentation, my speech for COM 110. And I just wanted to do it in a video style, so I have kind of a document <laughs> of it on YouTube. But I'm just going to go through the video and just make comments on things I think I did good or I did bad, and I hope it's okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to play it and I'm going to pause anytime I want to make a comment. So today I want to teach you about something that might be helpful because as college students, we have classes where we have to do presentations. And a lot of times they require okay. visual aids. Well, <laughs> so um, I seem a bit fidgety. I don't know if it's just me, but I see myself fidgeting a lot and I was nervous to be honest. And so um, I feel like I'm stuttering a little. I do want to fix that up. I do want to be a little more prepared the next time. PowerPoints are the main thing that people use, but I feel like sometimes it gets boring. Slide after slide, and then the occasional animation. So what if you want to do something different? Okay, eye contact. I am not making eye contact at all. That is one thing I did, um, my professor did, make a comment on, saying I do need to make better eye contact, and I can't see that here. I tend to... I don't know. I thought I was, uh, um, when I was doing my speech, I thought I was doing good at eye contact, but I guess, yeah, now that I see myself, I kind of wasn't. to say make a video, but you don't have those high quality programs. I guess I am doing, a, I guess I am doing eye contact a little here. So, um, well, you don't I do, so why not and I guess in the beginning I am making eye contact and then later I just kind of stopped because I did look, I did watch this video a little. Okay, I'm gonna go back a little. Well, you know how to use PowerPoint, so why not use PowerPoint to change that into a video? That's what I want to teach you today. I want to teach you how to turn your PowerPoint into a video. But first movement of for movement, I did try to move, but I don't know if it's just. I mean, at the moment, I didn't want to move around because I was working with the computer a lot. But I guess I could move around a little more when I was um, when I wasn't working with the computer. So I should work on that as well. Okay, so I'm going to skip through this part because it is like a two minute video that I just awkwardly stand there. So I'm going to skip through this. Um, let's go. Okay, Okay. I don't know if that video was kind of boring because it did go on for two minutes. So maybe I should not make videos that long. Okay. Oh, that took me a, a bit over three hours, I would say, okay. to make. And obviously we don't have that much time. So I'm going to break this down to three simple steps. The first is going to be laying out your presentation. Second is going to be animations and transitions. And finally, you're going to export your presentations into a video. Once again, I am kind of, um, I don't know, I feel like I'm looking at the wall. I'm looking at the wall more than I am looking at my audience. But I did try to make eye contact. I guess it just didn't. I did a good job at it. And you're given all these options that you could choose to make a presentation with. Or if you're feeling brave, you could do a blank and make your own theme. Now, once you have selected a theme, you then can move on to your first I find it really funny how you could hear um, what I mean the, by this um, is the person who's sitting by the camera who's just chewing. Okay, just a comment. Just clicking through. I find this very helpful so you're not jumping between. Um, and reading and creating slides, and it's a lot less confusing. So once you've done that, you move on to your second step, which is animations and transitions. Now, I'm not going to go through how to do animations and transitions because I don't have a lot of time, and Mr. C did a great job at explaining that to us when he was uh, demonstrating this project. However, if you are still having trouble, there is, there is a great site by Microsoft for um, teaching you how to do tutorials and training on PowerPoint. It is really useful. Yay, so Microsoft. You ever have problems. They make such good websites to help. Now, I do want to make two points in animation and transitions. The thing about this is when you're doing a video type presentation, you're going to have a lot of animations in one slide. Mm. One time I had over 200 animations in one slide, and that makes a lot of really confusing at times. How do you know I, I'm not sure if it's just me because I'm critiquing, critiquing myself, but I do feel, um, I don't know, it just feels a little more rehearsed than I would like it to be. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm saying that because it's 
if it was someone else, I wouldn't feel like that. But for me, I feel like it's more rehearsed than I would like. And I, I, I do like making presentations or um, speeches a little more, how do you call it? Inter I don't know. Um, like a conversational, that yeah, conversational style, and I think that'd be um if I worked on that a little more, that'd be more fun to watch and understand. I don't know if this got a little boring to people because it was so static in a way, not static, but like very. It felt, I mean, to me, it feels very rehearsed. So I don't know. Animations you're doing when you're doing well. This is what I call my animation best friend. My animation best friend. So you use the animation paint on the top right here. Once you click that, you are given a sidebar that shows you all the animation you have done on the I do tend to look at the computer screen a lot and I feel like I should um, I should make more eye contact with the audience and a lot of times right now I guess you can't really I can't really move around but um um there were times that I was very like in this area I don't really move around from this area and I want to be able I, next time I actually want to walk around everywhere yep okay show you what I've done on that slide I find this extremely useful because then you could click and move your animations around are you guys just bring about and change the durations and everything like that the second point I want to make on this is you have to remember you're making a video and because of that you won't be able to interact with this that means you have to keep everything as automatic as possible. I was so, so running out of breath here. My throat was so dry. I could like hear myself. I don't remember how I felt. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm dying. Make sure that is unchecked as well. Now, once you've done that, you are ready to move on to step number three, which is exporting your presentation into a video. This is really simple and easy to do. All you do is click file, and then you click export. Once you click export, there's an option that says create a video. Once you click that, you're given... So I, I didn't, um, I did, um, skip up on, skip out on a few parts that I would have liked to hit up on, but I thought I, was, I um, would run out of time, which I didn't, but, um, I guess the speech was a good length. It was like five minutes something, I'm not sure, but, um... I did cut out some parts, and I did go. I did. I did tend to go a little faster than I did um, when I was practicing at home. So I do want to slow myself down a little and make sure everyone understands what I'm saying, because this might be a little complicated. It's not as bad if, but if it was a different subject, I or topic, because a lot of people know how to use PowerPoint. So I mean, I hope it wasn't too hard to follow, but. If it was something that most people didn't know how to do, except for this part, like exporting, I don't think many people know that, but making a PowerPoint is pretty simple. But as I said, if it was a different topic, I feel like it would have been hard to follow. Or if I didn't know, if I was in the audience and I didn't know anything about PowerPoint at all, I would be very confused. So, I mean, I, I could clear it up a little more, in my opinion multiple options, but I keep these default because if you did step one and two perfect, then you don't have to worry about this. And just click create video. Once you've done that, it will bring up a menu to save wherever you want to save it. And you click save, which I'm not going to do. But if you click save, there's a bar down here that will pop up that shows you the progression of your video. And then once it's finished, you're done. You could um, use that video wherever you want and I struggled on this part. I um, what I wanted to say was um, you could basically post it. Um, what, what am I trying to say? I was trying to say you could share it, you could show show it off, and use it as a presentation. I did struggle on that part a little. I was had I got I got a little more nervous towards the end. In the beginning, I said something about how expensive programs could be hard to use. And you might not have it, but PowerPoint's not free, so you might be wondering, well, what if I don't have PowerPoint at home? Yeah, you could do it at school, but it's not always that good. I also wanted to add um, on this part, I wanted to say it's not free, and if you want to get the office whole office pack is sometimes over $200, and I forgot to mention that, but I wanted to say something like um, it costs over $200 or sometimes even more. So, yes. you know. Well, as a college student, you are eligible 
find Microsoft to get absolute, oh, Office 365 absolutely free of cost. No I stuttered software. there. All you do is plug in your student email and you get Office, um, Word, Excel, Access, OneNote, PowerPoint, and all that completely <coughs> free for also Sky five Drive. devices of your choice. I mean, not Sky Drive, um, OneDrive. OneDrive, they, I should have mentioned that, but OneDrive is also free storage online, and I think you get extra space if you do sign up through here. I was going to mention that, I totally forgot about that. Oh well. It's a great deal. If you are interested in this, or if you are interested in the tutorials, I do have links uh, on the description box. Of <laughs> Self promotion. <laughs> Subscribe to me. Video that I showed you guys, all you have to do is go find my channel by my name. Or if you don't want to do that, you could just Google search any alternative. So I hope this is helpful, and I hope you guys do use this and create something different the next time you have a presentation. Thank you. Well, I mean, my main thing is that. It's, I, I, I did a, um, I don't know, I didn't, oh, how did I get out of this? Oops. Hmm. All right. Um, what I wanted to say is I don't find, um, I didn't find that many things that I was disappointed in, but I did, um, think, I do think that there were a lot of points that I could improve on, like eye contact majorly. <laughs> when I was presenting, I thought I did a very good pretty like average job in eye contact but now that I look it over I see that it feels like I'm looking more at one section of the classroom or also just kind of the wall really and I really don't like that so I want to change that and I do want to make a lot more movement um I understand I mean <laughs> I'm speaking as if I'm talking to someone about someone else but I'm not um but basically um I do want to do something do some more movements because it, it is kind of annoying to just see someone just standing there in one general area and I hope for my next speech I could um, improve on those points those are my two major things and I also want to look down at my note card that's one thing I did put a lot of bullet points on my note cards that I wanted to mention but I totally forgot because I was kind of nervous honestly and because I was nervous I forgot to look down at my note cards a lot and I missed out on some fun things I wanted to say but it's it's fine um I for my first speech I am mostly satisfied and um and I just hope I do better in my next ones so that's it for now hope I could reflect on this later when I um do my next speech. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye bye.